Extrata Nickel, headquartered in Toronto, Ontario, is the fourth largest producer of nickel in the world. In April 2008, Extrata Nickel contracted NRB, a leader in permanent modular construction, to design, build and commission a new 60,000 square foot surface structure at their Nickel Rim South Mine site in Garson, Ontario. The project is comprised of a mine operation center, a locker, shower and dry area and a two-story administration building. It will be the first LEED certified project for both companies and one of the first ever for the commercial modular construction industry. With the new Nickel Rim South Mine site already under full development and operating out of temporary trailer facilities, space on site was very restricted. Driven by a short construction schedule and reducing on-site construction activity, Extrata Nickel, together with LeMay Associates of Montreal and EPCM provider Hatch McIntosh, explored the recent trends and technology available in permanent modular construction. The decision to switch project delivery methods from traditional on-site construction to modular off-site construction was made when it became clear it was the only possible way to hit the critical project completion schedule just over a year away. Building the entire facility off-site in Grimsby, Ontario would effectively remove the greatest percentage of the disruptive construction-related activity and hazards away from the busy mine site, placing them in NRB's controlled plant environment 250 miles away. Because Extrata's aim was to preserve the long-term health, function, and viability of the natural environments affected by their operations, the design of their new facility was guided by six goals. To use leading practice environmental standards. To eliminate or remediate environmental impacts. To protect habitat. To increase energy and resource efficiency. To reduce greenhouse gas emissions. To reduce waste. A qualified and experienced design team that collaborates effectively is critical to a successful LEED project. Led by NRB, the modular building architect, the mechanical engineers, the electrical engineers and the structural engineers along with an independent consultant specializing in LEED design, energy and commissioning, all work together with the owner's team to identify the strategies that would be required to achieve the superior gold level of sustainability. From the very first kickoff meeting, moderated by Modal, through the regularly scheduled design review meetings and onto the building construction and commissioning, the project was carefully orchestrated so that all individual design elements converged to ensure the highest whole building performance possible would be achieved. Designed to be constructed and installed in three phases, Phase 1 and the first to go in was Extrata's critical operation center, the core area from which the mine is run, staff are trained and equipment repaired and maintained. Phase 2 that followed is the clean locker and shower rooms for 350 staff as well as the dry facility, a 20-foot high room with hanging locker baskets that suspend miners' work clothes in the air so powerful ceiling mounted heaters can dry them. The drying requirements and demands for hot water presented some unique challenges to the building designers who were looking for optimal energy and water efficiencies. And finally, phase three, the two-story office and administrative center for Nickel Rim South. It's connected to phase two by an open air atrium style corridor with glass railings, a retro-plated concrete floor, exposed ductwork, and a fully glazed clear story close to 30 feet above to allow natural lighting. The three phases were carefully dovetailed and coordinated so that as phase one was being installed at the mine site, phase two was being transported to the site and set on foundations, while phase three was still under construction at the NRB plant. Phase one and two are finished with a heavy gauge commercial profiled steel cladding giving these areas an industrial appearance to match the existing head frame and hoist house surface structures. 
while Phase 3 was designed with more architectural expression. Incorporating multiple angles on the exterior walls, finished with ACM panels to replicate the natural jagged rock face of what is known as the Canadian Shield, so prevalent in Northern Ontario. There are several key design features that combine to help the Extrata project reach lead gold levels. These include heat recovery on closed drying exhaust air and on shower drain pipes, high efficiency heating systems, superior insulation of the building envelope, water conserving plumbing fixtures, a rainwater cistern to supply water for toilet flushing, the high use of recycled materials. The points gathered for the project in the lead rating categories look like this. In the sustainable sites category, surrounded by native forest, the building has a white reflective TPO cool roof applied that absorbs less heat and does not contribute to the warming of the atmosphere. Light pollution is reduced by fixtures that direct light to ground and not onto the site. Careful design and planning resulted in a wastewater treatment system for storm and wastewater from both the building and the mine operation. For water efficiency, the building characterizes excellent water conserving operations. Plantings are drought resistant, native species that will not require potable water. A cistern collects rainwater from the roof that is in turn used to flush toilets. Water conserving fixtures are used throughout the building, including reduced flow shower heads. Overall, the building uses 37% less potable water than would be used by a similar facility built to conventional standards. This amounts to 44,000 gallons of water, or the equivalent of 58 backyard swimming pools each year. In energy and atmosphere, energy modeling shows that the building will achieve 65% savings in energy consumption, giving it the maximum 10 energy points, all as a result of several excellent building design features. Well insulated building shell using spray foam insulation to R31 roof and R22 wall values, high performance windows, a hydronic heating system, reuse of heat recovered from closed drying exhaust air, reuse of heat recovered from hot water drains, lighting controlled by daylighting and occupancy sensors, and a high efficiency condensing water heater. And energy experts agree that building commissioning can also save significant amounts of energy. This project design was reviewed and approved for best practice commissioning. For materials and resources, over 26% of all materials used have a high recycled content. Much of this is attributed to NRB selection of recycled steel for the building structure and envelope itself, along with other materials such as recycled drywall, flooring, and even paint. One unique credit that the Canadian Green Building Council version of LEED NC currently offers is the Durable Building Credit. Choosing more durable materials and applying more sound construction practices and design detailing allows the building to perform over a greater period of time, decreasing the need for replacement of materials or maintenance and thereby reducing material waste, resource extraction and pollution. The building was approved by an independent building science expert for this credit. In the area of indoor environmental quality, Indoor air quality has the greatest impact on human health. Several measures were taken during construction of the plant to ensure that the airstream was protected from construction related contaminants. Adhesives, sealants, paints and coatings were all low to no VOC and wood was urea formaldehyde free. Thermal and workplace comfort for staff was accomplished by placing individual control of lighting, thermostats and windows in the building occupant's hands. And finally, for innovation and design, points are awarded in this category through exemplary performance or by unique innovation in design strategies. This project expects to receive points as follows. 
reduced mercury in light bulbs. LEED accredited professional. The Green Building Educational Point is a result of an interactive kiosk being designed and installed at the Extrata facility where visitors and staff can learn more about sustainable construction, modular construction, and the Nickel Rim South project. Recycled content exceeded the highest rating level required by 11%. Design for deconstructability is a feature mainly attributable to the NRB Build Together modular construction process. Each facility is built as a whole and then disassembled, transported, and reassembled. This ensures fast, easy erection at the site. The building could be deconstructed again in a similar fashion. In a world where environmental responsibility and resource conservation are becoming the driving force in the design of the built environment, the off-site modular construction process can offer many significant advantages.